Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new Photoshop quick tip video about how to use the new guide layout in the new update for Photoshop CC 2014. So if you've seen any of my other tutorials or some of my work, most of it is shit flying around in 3D and particles and things exploding and 3D cameras. So you're probably wondering what the hell we're doing here in Photoshop. But I still find myself using Photoshop and Illustrator quite a lot, either at the beginning of projects for things like setting up storyboards or at the end if we're getting into things like informational screens. And it's good to know and be able to leverage a fair amount of both. But when setting up storyboards and things like this with guides, there's some things that I end up doing over and over and I always like to find the most efficient way to do things. So if I'm doing a storyboard, let's say, and it's 1920 by 1080, I always end up starting out the project by setting up guides in the center by selecting all, dragging guides in, dragging it on the side, fixing them if they're off, and kind of going through this process. And you would think by now I would have set up some template or a quicker way to do this, but I hadn't. And there's some new guide layouts that can really speed this up, and we can speed it up even further by using shortcuts so let's talk about that. I'll just close this and we'll run through how to quickly set this up so we can do that sort of thing in probably four seconds. So I'll make a new file. And if we're figuring it's a video project, say we're doing video storyboard, we do 1920 by 1080 and I'll do okay. And rather than dragging those guides in, I'm gonna go view new guide layout right here. And that's gonna set up this grid of guides and if we're doing desktop publishing this would be fine but in my opinion for you know video stuff this is kind of overkill what i'm usually looking for is just a little bit so what we can do if we just want guides around the edges and centers is i'm going to check on columns and rows make our width half of 1080p so for width i'll do 960 and height 540 and then i'll just do one guide one guide no gutter and for margin, I'll do one, 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 one. And you can see that this sets up perfect guides around the edges and center. And I don't wanna do this every time. So what we can do is make a preset and we'll go to a save preset. I could just do HD 1080 and that'll save that. So now every time I do a new storyboard file for 1080, I can have that. And there's one more setting up here that's really useful is this guides from shape. So another thing I was up doing is say I want edges of 50 around the edge, I would do this sort of thing and look at info and get it close and then make these and drag it. And I'm already getting annoyed because this is taking too long. So there's some new useful ways we can do stuff from shapes for that sort of thing as well as for other things. So let's say if we had a rectangle or an ellipse, we can drag this and now rather than dragging guides around the edge of it, if we need to line stuff up to it. With it selected, we can go to view new guides from shape and it'll snap guides to the edge of this. So if we wanted this on the corners, we could do the same sort of thing. We could just get a rectangle, make it 100 width and height, and then just do new guides from shape. But even that is a little too time consuming. I don't want it every single time I make a new file, you have to even go all the way up to view and do all that sort of stuff. So what I like to do for these sorts of things that I'm gonna do over and over after I get those basic settings is add some keyboard shortcuts on my own. So things I always repeat, like flipping horizontal, vertical, image size, I have all sorts of ones. So what we can do is go to keyboard shortcuts and we'll go to view, scroll down until we get to where we can see new guide layout, new guide from shape. And what we can do is click here and I'll just do something like Alt Command L and that's fine, I don't need that one. And I'll do Shift Command L for new guide from shape. And that'll just keep it in my mind because it's new layout, new guide, so L makes sense to me for some reason. So then every time we have a new file, what we could do is just do Alt Command L, press Enter, and then we get our guides. And then if we have a new shape, just make the shape and then Shift Command L, we get our guides, then just move it, Shift Command L. And we could do the same thing with the four corners by just dragging it. And we very quickly get a nice, video storyboard layout and this saves the time now again it's there every time we do this we just press those same keys and we have it already there so if you were working at different resolutions say if you were doing something at 1280 by 720 you could just make another one of these and using these sorts of layouts spending a couple minutes to make these in advance as well as setting up some keyboard shortcuts for things that you know that you're going to end up doing all the time can be a really quick way to work and save you a lot of time so you can spend more time getting to 
the fun stuff like blowing things up in Cinema 4D and making particles fly all over. So we didn't make anything today, but it's a really useful little tip. It'll definitely save some time if you're doing any sorts of Photoshop work or if you just want all sorts of guides like this that make no sense. And if you want to check out some of my tutorials where we actually do some things and build some stuff in After Effects 3D and all sorts of VFX and 3D animation tutorials, be sure to check out some of my other tutorials that are more than moving just a circle around a screen on youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you want to ask questions, you can check out facebook.com slash Vital and twitter.com slash Sean Frangella if you want to ask questions about motion graphics or visual effects and interact that way. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video. And, and those ones, I promise, will actually make some things. <laughs>